Another five minute job, this time changing the mass airflow meter on a Vauxhall Corsa. This is pretty much the same job on any car, and unless you've got more than one cylinder bank, you'll probably only have one mass airflow meter. They're usually fairly easy to get to, especially on older cars, but maybe under an engine cover on a newer car. Petrol and diesel cars both have these, you'll usually find them between the air filter box and the engine inlet. They'll usually have a plug on, like this one, which should be easy to remove once you release the clip, just be careful not to break the clip or pull the wires. You'll then have two hose clamps to remove, usually with either a 6 or 7mm hex socket, or sometimes a flat blade or cross edge screwdriver. I recommend using a socket to avoid damaging the clamps or slipping off. You can then wiggle the mass airflow meter out by bending the air pipe slightly and then replace with the new one. The mass airflow meter measures the amount of air being used by the engine. Based on this it then matches how much fuel to put in. If the mass airflow meter reads the incorrect amount of air, then you'll get the incorrect fueling. This could have a number of symptoms. In my case, the car did not idle nicely and I kept getting engine faults. Other symptoms may include lack of power in the mid-range or hesitation in the engine. Sometimes you might get an oxygen sensor fault, for example a P1070, but the cause could be your mass airflow meter. This is because the oxygen sensor is measuring excess air in the exhaust. If you change your oxygen sensor and it does not fix a P1070, then you could try swapping a mass airflow meter. If you have an OBD reader, then it might be a good idea to read the mass airflow values at idle before and after the swap to see how different they are. If the new one is much different to the old one, more than 5% or so, then this could have been your problem. One last thing to note, not all mass airflow meters are the same. You need to buy the right one for your car, and the quality can make a big difference. In this case, I bought a Haas one, which gave the incorrect readings and made the engine run worse than it did with the old faulty one. I then swapped it for a Bosch one, which resolved the problem completely. If you're not sure that the problem is with your mass airflow meter, then it might be a good idea to try swapping it with another car with the same one and see if it improves your symptoms. Unfortunately, new ones tend to be quite expensive, so you could also try a second-hand OEM one first. Good luck, give it a go, and post here if you have any questions.